I sat in a French Empire straight back chair at the back of the open air cafe far from the diners at Sunday lunch. The aquarium bubbled and the aerating fan muttered under its breath, massaging the cool air and the warm water. A catfish sat near the bottom, stretching the length of the width, looking at me carefully as I looked at him. His left eye reached for mine, and I felt his aloneness. The tank held only smooth, round stones of color or clear glass, and a small seaweed floated slowly near the top. The catfish looked at me, and I looked at him. The first time, I slowly reached out and touched the glass wall. His tail flashed, and his head turned back and forth, looking around at me, back and forth. The second time I touched the glass, he rotated himself slowly to bring both head and body into alignment with me. <laughs> to look at me from both left and right as I looked at him, I was distracted by someone a few feet away, and then looked back. He was pushing out to the glass a brown stone as wide as his mouth to the glass wall where my finger had been and gone and been again. At first, I was agitated, moving my head to look at him full face. Had he mistaken the stone for food? Would he swallow, choke, and die? But no, it was an offering I could not accept through the glass. I looked at him, and he looked back. Again, I looked away to someone else, standing, talking. I heard a click, and then a second at the corner of the tank, as one, then two stones were spit out, and his mouth moved up and down as he looked at me. The third time I touched the glass where his nose was pressed, both his eyes looked at me, and he stayed touching the glass, my finger pressed to glass, and his nose pressed to glass. We looked at the other's eyes, my right to his left, my right to his left, and my left to his right. A catfish in captivity, a catfish in tank, at the back of a cafe. No language, but two spirits through a glass wall. Gills and lungs, finger and stone, eyes touching.